Hey guys, what is up? Dinosaur with you once again with Drunk Paper Mario. I am drinking cold shots this evening because I'm cheap. And they're good. Anyways. So, I gotta fucking remember the buttons here. Okay. So I still have some, like, uh, visual glitches here. Clearly. It's beautiful. Anyway, so we're all healed up. We're gonna fight this boss right now. Cause I got the first strike, motherfucker! The first strike! Um. Can I just have a fucking power block? Oh well, whatever. Don't care. Yellow. Five damage, killed it. Sweet. And because I wanna fucking tattle everything. This is a bullet bill, Kamikaze attacker. Sounds lovely. If you don't beat them quickly, they'll explode. Two and two, seriously, Mario. These guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. Beat them before they strike us. But it's okay, I have my hat. Wish I could block. Um, I'm gonna fucking charge my hammer. Do plus two damage. And... I do want. I need you to tell one of these guys. Bull, uh, Bill Lester, Bill Lester has the, 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 four one defense power. Jeez. The power by Jesus. No, I'm not gonna start making like fucking. Um. Fuck. Gangrum references. I mean, I fucking love Gangrum. Like I watch them. <laughs> I watch them daily and religiously. It's great. But I'm not gonna start referencing. I gotta be my own person. Well, I can't do that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Bam. Fuck yourself. Hammer's the only way to hit these guys. Sweet. Nailed it! Then I will charge my hammer. Because I can. Hmm. Eh, I'll use bomb blaster. I don't fucking care. I'm just thinking that it covers my shit, so. Oh, fuck. I just charged my hammer for nothing. Pfft, whatever. I don't care. Kick an ass and take an ass, bro. That's how I roll with this shit. I just realized I haven't been as drunk as I have been the first time I started playing this game. <laughs> Maybe I should change that. Ugh. Coke shots taste nasty. I prefer my rum and coke. Anyways, we're gonna go in here. Ugh. I can handle it. I'm on my fifth one. And I'm pretty much a lightweight, so. It's all them. Hey man, chicken leg, bro. And then they're kinda doing stuff. I don't know what they're doing. They're probably fucking. Which actually reminds me the, the fact that they're like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and not the fact that they're fucking. Um, that well, we actually went and seen Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I had some issues with it but all in all it was a pretty decently put together movie. Ugh. Charred that pitch. Fucking yellow. Yeah, boy. Um. Yeah, whatever. Um. Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I was talking about uh, Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. It was good, but I have some. I had some problems with it, but it was still a really good film. I suggest if you're a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, go see it. I should probably fucking title him before I kill him. Um, yeah, so. Uh, one of the problems I had with it was that it was way too focused around April O'Neil. That's one of my bigger problems with it, because I mean, 
We don't want to see April O'Neil. We want to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Which, you know what? It, it's fine. The story works and whatever. It seems a little bit more plausible, I suppose. But still, just... Mm, it, I guess it worked. Whatever, I don't care. Um... Oh, by the way, spoilers. I should have mentioned before I really, really get into it that there's going to be. Spo I am going to be spoiling certain parts of this movie while I'm talking about it. While I'm talking about it, um, like that one part after April apparently rescued the turtles and Splinter and put them down in the sewers. Uh, Splinter finds books in the sewers about ninjutsu. Jutsu? Am I saying that right? Yeah. So apparently he learned from the books, and then he taught the turtles, how, which is... Like... <sighs> Splinter's supposed to already know and have mastered Ninjutsu by this point. Fuck. Didn't dodge it. God damn it. Um, but yeah, like... He's supposed to already know Ninjutsu by this point. Not oh, I found a book. I found two books in the sewers, and now I'm gonna learn myself and then teach the turtles. I mean, it was a uh, well, I guess I don't really completely agree with it, but it's just that's not how I grew up with turtles. I grew up with you know, Master Splinter already knows, and then taught the turtles afterwards because he already knew and he wanted them to be able to defend themselves. Uh, everybody else was very accurately portrayed. I kind of like, um, there's some hit and misses with Shredder's suit that I didn't like. Um, the multiple blades, now he's supposed to have like the two bladed thing on his glove and that's, that's Shredder. I, but uh, I do kind of like the the throwing knives that he has. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Um, another thing is, I didn't like that Tonatello had glasses. I mean, yeah, he's supposed to be the smart one, but I don't know. It's just again, I grew up with Donatello without glasses because I watched like the 1980s anime or whatever that was on TV for 12 seasons. That's what that's what I watched. That's what I watched. Anyway, um, April O'Neil, played by. Do I have any healing items? Jesus, I have no healing items. Um, April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox. Maybe not the best choice. Because all she did, besides be like the main component of the story, which again I did not like, I didn't, I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, was that all she did was scream at people? Like she screamed Shredder's name and Eric Saxon. Another thing, I must come on. The scientist villain Eric Sax decent, but was no Baxter Stockman. You know what I mean? Like, they should have had Baxter Stockman in there, because he was a more major and more recognizable scientist villain than whoever the fuck Eric Sachs is. I don't know, maybe it follows like a comic that I don't know about or something like that. Whatever. I'm just going by what I know and what I've seen. Other than that, the turtles looked great. Um, the overall story and presentation was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And I talked about turtles for an entire boss battle. Sweet. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, it was overall, it was very well done, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. But besides those few little things, you know, whatever. 
And another thing I was actually kind of pissed about was that there was no Casey Jones. They didn't introduce any kind of Casey Jones in that in that film. So that's that's my spiel. And I'm actually gonna talk about this game. I'm surprised I can actually play through it drunk. Like I actually know what I'm doing. It's crazy. I'm actually gonna take a quick break because I really have to pee. But you know, it'll only be like a second. So Mario and his friends beat the Cooper Bros at their fortress and rescue the first star spear. Yes! Okay, so I'm back. Gross. Shit was warm. Ugh. Kinda wish I had some harder liquor. I prefer hard liquor over beer, but, you know, I cheaped out this time. Um, Future of the King, Mushroom Kingdom, Star Heaven, and of course, Princess Peach, whatever. Fuck her. She's a bitch and whore. I don't like her. Lives in hands, Mario and his new friends. All three of his friends. Cooper's the Noth, this one. Uh, we'll save and continue. I keep on pressing the B button because I've been playing Final Fantasy VII and is the same as circles. It's like, pfft, fuck. I don't get ADD. <laughs> I wonder what Mary is doing right now. I like the color purple. I wonder if he's hurt. I wonder if he has Dora the Explorer band aids. Maybe already, right, princess. I like cheese. Why he's saving his rice readers right now? No, you think so? Nah. I'm just, I'm just tricking. Probably down there, fucking Daisy, <laughs> because Daisy exists. No, she doesn't. She was like an experimental clone of Princess Peach that didn't make it. Blah blah blah. See if it's something about window. Oh, wait a minute, something about well, something. I don't really care. It's story. So now you have to play. Oh my god, there's a button. Cause she has to jump to reach. Cause she's fucking short, whore. Um, yeah. Another thing about this game is that in between Star Spirits or whatever. You have to play as Princess Peach and go do certain things, whatever, I don't care, there's a way I can run, I'm pretty sure. No. <gasps> oh no! Well, we found out. Which I think we do. No, not this one. Where are we? Anyway, so we go over here and we read this book. Hey, look at this. Looks like somebody left a private diary after just lying around. Yes, read that shit. Oh, looks like you're doing that sort of thing. Do you, Tisisk? How very unprincess like you, bitch. I hate you. Hold on. Give me a second. No, never mind. I don't care. I'm very quietly. Let's see. Uh, Deo slash O month star sunny. Today I went to Star Rod Heaven and stole this. No, oh, Star Rod Heaven. Really? Am I really that intoxicated? Oh, I guess so. And stole the star spirit. Now I'm invincible. Ha ha. I was kept hard day's work, and now I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but bland. I feel like we might know this person who wrote this. Should we read more? Okay, let's continue. Day O slash X one stars. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, diary. I used the castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I burst into Princess Peach and beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know, it's so fun. <laughs> There's more. After that, I get up for this piece. I couldn't be happier, Diary. I hope she likes me. Oh my god, it's Bowser's Diary. So cute. What do we do? Should we read more? XX. Two months. Today, I pregnated Princess Peach, and she's gonna have seven of my children. I'm so mad. I can barely write. Oh, Mario. I'm so, I'm so big. I'm so helpful and so good. And I have such an amazing mustache that even the other pedophiles are very scared of my mustache. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way he'll know about dry dry ruins. So to that, he'd have to go to dry dry desert. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna go fuck Peach once again, and she's gonna love my turtle dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not what the diary said? Oops. Oh no, here he comes. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. Be so embarrassing if someone he's so gay. <laughs> like, come on. No evil villain keeps his secret diary. He only pretends to love the princess, but he doesn't love the princess. He just loves men. Whether they're Koopa or Goomba or human. 
All person sheets, what are you doing? What? Ah, you little sneaky, you read my diary. Quick, take her next door. Prepare my lava bath. I have an erection. <laughs> no, but me do. I don't know how he doesn't see the ADD star. Just kind of chilling there. Fuck. It's been so long since I played this game. Last. I might actually start uploading these. Yeah, I think I will. By the bottom of my heart, you saved me and whatever and shit. So I'm gonna give you my powers, and then I'm going back up to Star Heaven. So now we learn Refresh. Which recovers, um, 5... 5 HP and 5 FP. Which is pretty much... Will be useless later. Because FP is really nothing to really worry about, unless you're charging and then power smashing or some shit like that. Anyway, so we are off. I'm gonna save it though because classy. Um, I hit this. Okay, so that's how I do uh, partner ability. So there's this that we couldn't get later, or we couldn't get before because we didn't have bomb at. So we'll go down this pipe, and we'll come out here, and I think it gives us the refund badge. What's wrong with that? No, FP plus. Uh, increases FP by five. Um, I gotta see what badges I have equipped real quick. Did I not get the refund badge? Pretty sure we're supposed to be able to get a refund badge. Um, whatever. The refund badge is, um... It's a badge that whenever you equip it and use an item in battle, you will get refunded the amount of money that that uh, item is worth. It's great, actually. Uh, I don't want to fight you. Fuck off. <sighs> so, we gotta use Refresh, which recovers... Oh, I didn't know it recovered it cures poison and shrink. Fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> I just thought it recovered health and shit. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was just... Boom. Fuck ya. You're dead. You're dead to me. Shit. Am I really that bad at timing? Fuck my life. Apparently. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna go back and heal up, I think. Oh, I don't remember what I last put up. I might actually have to- Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it, I'll fight him. I don't care. Got me, bro. I totally jumped on you first. Fuck yourself. Do I have any items I can- You know what? Whatever, I'll try sleep sheet. We'll give her a go. I hope we got it. That was too few with them sleep anyway. Everybody on the ground, asleep. Switch to Goom, bro. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be asleep for another turn. And then he wakes up. Oh fuck, I love this game. If I can hit the action command, that'd be cool. Sweet. I did it. Beats from having to go heal and then fucking come back and have to fight him, so whatever. I had another complaint about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> oh yeah, um, even though it was completely out of my control, of course there was a fuck ton of kids there. And the child behind me would not shut the fuck up. Like, I swear to god. First time turtle showed up, one of the turtles showed up, like, um, 
there's a part where the Foot Clan is attacking uh, a harbor full of like containers, like the shipping containers, and they're trying to take stuff out of it, whatever. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, whatever, that's fine. And obviously, there's Raph, who is being all, I'm a vigilante, so I'm gonna stop these guys. Whatever, that's cool. Fucking child behind me. It's all like, I've seen a Ninja Turtle. I've seen a Ninja Turtle. It's like, oh, for fuck off, kid. Like, I honestly wanted to climb over the seat behind me and just be like, shot the fuck up. Like, the mother shushed him a few times, which is fine. Like, okay. Congratulations to you. You're a half decent pair. But fuck off. I swear to God, I will never have children. Like, they just piss people off left, right, center, and there's no controlling them either. It's just, mmm. <sighs> anyway. That actually reminds me of another topic I wanted to kind of talk about. That, um, the next town over, which is the big university that we have here on this small ass motherfucking island that nobody really cares about. Um, that, like, people are standing outside of well traveled establishments, I shall say, and they're standing out there with abortion pictures of a 10 month old fetus that has been aborted. And, like, nobody wants to see that. Like, I understand that you think abortion is wrong, or, you know, like, I know I'm talking about heavy topics while I'm drunk, but whatever. Um, you know what I mean? Like, th my standpoint on it is that it's the woman's choice, if they want to keep it or not. I mean, if they're not able to keep it, then abort it or give it up for adoption. Whatever. Your choice. How am I doing? I'm alright. Okay. And, like, they're standing out there with 10, one, ten week old baby aborted fetus pictures. Trying to tell people, no, you shouldn't have abortions. You should have abortions. Like, it should be. Please tell me something. That. that was fucking hilarious. You fell. Ha. Um, like, should I be recording? Nah, I don't. What? I don't know. Maybe that's me. Junior Trooper. Whatever, Junior Trooper. Um, fuck. Like, whatever. Like, whatever. It's a woman's choice, is what I'm getting at. That's my take on it. Like, um, that's not all, though, either. Like, apparently, these people have been giving these 10 month old, or 10 week, I keep on saying 10 month. No, not 10 month, because babies are only in there for nine, but you know what I mean. Like, they're handing out these pictures of 10 week old aborted fetuses to children. Like, honestly two shits I give about the children, whatever, but I mean, they don't need to see that. I mean, it was bad enough that it was like, like I read it in the paper, and I see them there with the pictures in the paper. Oh, shit. Yeah, cool. Whatever. By the way, you can hit this guy, and he's just like, ah, eh. Um, anyway, so... Like, I don't like children. It's no secret. But dramatizing them with a picture of a 10 month old. Oh, fuck, I keep on saying 10 month old. Jesus. 
a 10 week old fetus picture? Like, that's just. That's dramatizing. I was kind of dramatized when I fucking seen it. Look at how those. Okay, just quick change. Look at how much those fucking stairs are derping out right there. Whatever, go to Dry Dry Ruins. Anyway, I'm gonna get that started and then I'm gonna save it. I think that'll be the episode for tonight. Cause I, I'm gonna. Whatever. Uh, I'm doing good. Oh, by the way, the bad shop is open, so I kind of want to take a look at what, what's up. I'm all down for the bad. What's that? D down pound, disables enemy's defense. Things. I will take it. First strike match. Shit, I don't have a fight for it. I'm actually going to equip that right quick. Instead of the um, dizzy attack. Because it's nice, it ignores the defense and stuff. Um, but yeah, like, like seriously, man, children should not be seeing that. And I don't really care about the children all that much. But I mean, like, seriously, that's fucked up. University students showing ten-week-old baby fetus pictures to. I don't know. Elementary school children? I think it was? Fuck, even like middle school children. That's fucked. Like, no one should see that. Oh, yeah, I know where that goes. I don't have anything for it right now. So we blow that up, and then we talk to this guy. And he's like, let's go to Mount Rugged. It's like, yeah, cool, I'm down for that. Uh, but seriously, like, that actually bugs me so much. Sorry about that. I had to kind of get rid of that. Whatever. I don't care, I'm drunk. Um, but, like, whatever. Um, I'm done talking about it. Hey, you got a text message. My BF texted me, he's like, I just got off work now. I was like, sweet, I'm pretty deep in the bag. <laughs> um, later, whenever you actually take this train, you can actually skip it and shit. Anyways, we're going to be starting Chapter 2 next episode. Um, there's a few things I just want to get right quick. And then I'm going to save it, so. You know, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to Mount Rugged. Yeah, great, I don't care. So if we go over to one of these, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's this one, I guess. Talk to it. And you get an egg. You can actually take that to um, Tasty, who's back in town, and she will cook that up and make a fried egg for you, which recovers 10 instead of 5. Anyway, so that is my game for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my rant about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and abortion. Quite the uh, <laughs> interesting mix of uh, things to talk about. But, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, if you think I'm a fucking idiot, then let me know. You know, give me a comment. Tell me how much I suck. Anyways, later.